To solve this problem, we're going to need to apply Charles' Law, which is going to allow us to compare volume with temperatures. Let's go ahead and identify our variables. So we know that the starting volume was 3.45 liters, and our starting temperature was zero degrees Celsius. Now we always need to convert this to Kelvin when we're working with any of the gas laws. So we want to add 273.15. Uh, so we're going to find that this temperature is 273.15 Kelvin. Uh, now, the other information that we're provided, uh, V2 is what we're trying to find. So that is our unknown variable. We also know T2. Uh, because this is 195 Celsius, again, we'll need to add 273.15 in order to convert this to Kelvin. So this will work out to give us a final temperature of 468.15 Kelvin. Because we are trying to solve for V2, we're going to need to do some algebra to solve Charles' Law in terms of V2. We can see that if I multiply both sides of the equation by T2, uh, by T2 that T2 will cancel here, uh, so we can solve for V2. It's T2 times V1 divided by T1. My last step is to go ahead and add in my known variables into my solved equation, and then uh, solve with my calculator, and then evaluate my final answer. We found earlier that T2 was 468.15 Kelvin. V1 was 3.45 liters. And then our starting temperature was 273.15 Kelvin. So after we complete the calculation, we can see that our answer is 5.91 liters. This answer will be reported with three sig figs because our initial volume measurement, 3.45, had three significant figures.